kids managed to break off the base of this globe. And it was at this particular location. I was able to repair the spot with super glue. Then a few weeks later the foot actually broke off again. But this time a little bit further down. So the super glue area was stronger than the actual material. I know I can't win any beauty contests with this, but sometimes that not necessary. I will show you how I did it in this video. The trick is that I use sodium bicarbonate as a filler in addition to regular superglue. So it doesn't depend so much on the manufacturer of the superglue. You could either buy one of these small tubes in the supermarket for 1 or 2 euros or even better the slightly larger bottles like this one with 20 grams inside. This bottle here costs 5 euro and should last quite a long time. Also, as I said, you need sodium bicarbonate or alternatively baking powder. This 250 gram package costs less than 2 euros. To make it easier to apply, I put the sodium bicarbonate in this 30 ml liquid drop bottle empty needle tip plastic bottle squeezable refillable cigarette liquid dropper bottle. However, it also works without. With this case of an electric toothbrush, I will show you briefly how to proceed. To give the filler some space, it is a good idea to take away some of the base material. I do this with a knife, but you can also grind it or something similar. If your component has a front and a back side, it's best to do it where you can't see it later. It's also a good idea to roughen the surface of the treated area, but I didn't do that here. And of course, if the part is dirty, you'll have to clean it as well. Afterwards, you apply super glue and sodium alternately. You will notice that this mixture actually solidifies in seconds. My toothbrush housing here is only a demonstration object, however, if you are dealing with a higher quality object, you can still retreat the glued area. The seam can be polished quite well and even varnished if necessary. However, you want to try this out on a test object first. By the way, with electric toothbrushes like this one, new batteries can be soldered in if necessary. Usually regular AA NIMH rechargeable batteries are used. But how that works will be material for another video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. This brings me to the end of my video. Have fun with tinkering and see you next time.